A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. On the evening of that first day of the week, when the doors were locked, where the disciples were, for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood in their midst and said to them, Peace be with you. When he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. The disciples rejoiced when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, so I send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit, whose sins you forgive are forgiven them, and whose sins you retain are retained. Thomas, called Didymus, one of the twelve, was not with them when Jesus came. So the other disciples said to him, We have seen the Lord. But he said to them, Unless I see the mark of the nails in his hands, and put my finger into the nail marks, and put my hand into his side, I will not believe. Now a week later, these disciples were again inside, and Thomas was with them. Jesus came, although the doors were locked, and stood in their midst, and said, Peace be with you. Then he said to Thomas, Put your finger here, and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Thomas answered and said to him, My Lord and my God. Jesus said to him, Have you come to believe because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. Now Jesus did many other signs in the presence of his disciples that are not written in this book. But these are written that you may come to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, and that through this belief you may have life in his name. The Gospel of the Lord. Good day to one and all. Happy Easter! The death and resurrection of Christ we celebrate at Easter sheds a new light on everything. Then it brings peace, joy, and faith. I am not dying, I am entering into life. Words uttered by St. Therese of the Child Jesus on her deathbed, when one of her sisters in the community said that she was dying. Indeed, Jesus' victory over death has won for us eternal life. Easter brought plenteous gifts. We ask ourselves, what gifts are contained within the Easter experience for us? Many, many gifts and treasures. In today's Gospel, one sterling gift that we can immediately see is the gift of peace. After the death of Jesus, his disciples were so afraid and fearful that they lacked themselves for fear of the Jews. What was the gift of Jesus to his fearful disciples? Peace. This is one of the precious gifts of Easter. Like Saint Mary Magdalene, the disciples were also in darkness. This was brought about by the fear they experienced. Instead of scolding them for their cowardice, 
Jesus shared with them his gift of peace. By this, they were consoled and they experienced joy. The darkness that they wear has been enlightened. Peace be with you. The very first word that the priest utters at the beginning of every Mass. It is a reminder of the primary gift of Easter. The fact that Christ died, buried, and rose again assures us and brings us peace. Christ overcame death. Death has no final say in one's life, for it is only a transition, a passage to another life, a crossover. Jesus was able to open the locked doors and locked minds and hearts of his followers, for he holds the keys to death and the underworld. We hear in today's Gospel that Jesus appeared to his disciples minus Thomas. He was not at peace for not seeing and experiencing the risen Lord in person. He demanded a first-hand experience of Jesus resurrected. Now imagine if you could ask the Lord of something. What would you ask for? Like that of Thomas? Sometimes we are afraid to ask, for we do not know what to ask for. We sometimes prefer a God of rules and regulations, so we do not have to think much. A week later, Jesus comes and challenges Thomas. Put your finger here and see my hands, and bring your hand and put it into my side, and do not be unbelieving, but believe. Alas, the experience that he demanded from Jesus is given him. For sure, this gave Thomas so much joy. For as we all know by experience, once our request and desire is given us by the Lord, we overflow with joy. This is another gift of Easter. Joy. The last and the most vital gift that the recent Jesus brought to us is faith. Jesus said, have you come to believe, Thomas, because you have seen me? Blessed are those who have not seen and have believed. At this seeming dark hour in our life as a people, the vital gift of faith which the risen Lord brought at Easter is so important and relevant. Let us share this gift that we have received and wholeheartedly accepted from Christ, especially to those who are experiencing trials and difficulties in life. Let us allow the risen Lord to shine through us and in us. Let us now pray for the gift of faith. Reason Jesus, we thank you for the Easter gifts of peace, joy, and faith. We ask you that in this trying time and seeming hour of darkness, our faith in you may be strengthened and deepened, that your gifts of peace and joy may increase and flourish in us. Then make us irradiate this to our brethren. This we ask in your name, now and forever. Amen.